My name is Tuka Jirmo. I work with the Nature Conservancy. I'm joining you from the city of Kenya, Mombasa. I am a project manager for strengthening blue economy of West Indian Ocean uh, through integrated ecosystem services and effective biodiversity conservation. Uh, what is next? Um, uh, one word about the Nature Conservancy is uh, our mission is to conserve the land and waters on which all life depend. And for particular, for this presentation, which depends particularly on the marine, is about uh, meeting the SDG goal 14, which talks about the conserve sustainably, use the ocean, sea, marine resources for sustainable development. This project is also funded by partner with Kenyan government, the German government, as well as partnership with the Nature Conservancy. Uh, the West Indian Ocean areas which we are covering is Kenya, Seychelles, Tanzania, uh, and Mauritius. These areas are rich biodiversity, coral reefs, mangroves, native forest, global important biodiversity, and also very much vital for uh, food and livelihood. Uh, marine spatial planning, what is it? Marine spatial planning generally is uh, just bringing together uh, the ocean users uh, to come and coordinate in a coordinated manner, make a decision and plan the use of the ocean. Why plan ocean? Ocean has such a healthy have ecosystems, uh, serves as economy, the culture, the values, areas of biodiversity, fisheries, energy, tourism, and recreation, cultural values and livelihood. So this all need to be planned. So why now in the areas of West Indian Ocean, uh, the countries that I've talked about, we have 60 million plus people now within 100 kilometers of the coastal areas. We have marine ecosystem now having a lot of pressure in terms of fisheries, uh, aquaculture, energy production, in terms of uh, water harvesting, as well as uh, areas of uh, shipping and climate change and all that. So when we plan the marine structure planning as uh, several steps, step one to 10, where we need to go through each and every steps in terms of participatory planning. This is laid down by UNESCO. Uh, thank you, otherwise. <laughs> Yeah, this project uh, is funded at Kaiki International uh, Climate Initiative, uh, funded by German government. Uh, so uh, that is they they are providing uh, funding to this project, where we are now uh, involved in those activities of marine spatial planning for Kenya, for Tanzania, Mauritius, as well as supporting fisheries and marine spatial planning in that area. <laughs> 